is so happy to be in the shade. <laughs> okay, cause it is hot! So, um, we're, what, about a week before Emmys? Uh, just a few days. It's Sunday. Yeah, it's Thursday, so I got, uh, three days. So. To fit into that skin-tight, form-fitting gown. So, is it one of the most fun, uh, Hollywood events that you cover? Um, the Emmys... Yeah, they kind of are. Um, they're a little bit more low-key than the Oscars. Um, and the TV people tend to be a little bit more loose and, you know, they're, they're a lot more fun to hang out with, let me put it that way. Um, no offense to, you know, my movie star friends. Y'all cool too, but uh, TV peeps are, you know, just like, hey, let's go, you know, hang out, go to some parties and you know, because most of them have to be back at work at 5 in the morning, so they can only party for so long, but uh, it's, it's a fun night. And HBO throws an awesome party, so I'm very much looking forward to getting back over there to the Pacific Design Center. Yeah. Tell my HBO peeps. Tell, tell them, tell them, y'all throw a great party. <laughs> Right. What is, what is it about photography that, uh, that really gets you excited? It's telling a story, you know, uh, through pictures, um, which sometimes for me works better than words. Um, but, you know, when you can combine the two, that's just an awesome feeling. When you've got, you know, the right shot and the right words and they just <laughs> come together like that, shh, don't get much better. But, you know, photography for me is... Um, I used to paint, I used to sketch, and you know, I was a, you know, marginally talented artist growing up, but you know, never kind of got over the hump to become great. So photography for me is my art, you know, where I couldn't go with my hands, I can go with my eye. Now when I mention H.U., what comes to mind? Hatton, Hatton, not Howard, okay? Howard Fakers, man. I don't even want to talk about Howard. But the Hampton, I'm glad you mentioned that because the Hampton-Howard game is coming up September 11th at Howard Stadium, 1 o'clock p.m. EST. Get ready for your beatdown. So do you ever go on the yard just to throw trash or something? On the Howard yard? You know, I, I, I have been by Howard. I have been around it. I don't think I've actually officially ever been on the yard. You know, even when I lived in D.C., I, you know, Howard's one of those hard schools that's kind of hard to find because there's like, you know, no big sign saying, you know, this is Howard. So it's kind of, you know, in the community, so it kind of blends in. So it's, it's kind of hard to tell where it starts and the community um, ends. So, yeah, I've, I've never actually, uh, you know, walked across the yard at Howard, but, you know, I don't think I've missed anything. Mm -hmm. There were a lot of, of our forefathers, uh, great beautiful women, who were on the scene. If you could turn back the clock mm -hmm. and spend just a few minutes with one person, who would that be? Uh, right off the top of my head, Lena Horne. You know, I, I think she was just a fascinating person more so than an entertainer. Um, you know, certainly I have respect for her craft, but uh, she was just a, you know, awesome person. You know, very committed to the cause. Um, number two, if I could get a number two, I uh, probably would have wanted to spend time, a little time with Hattie McDaniel. You know, uh, I don't think people realize that the struggles she went through. I mean, you know, the reported struggles about her having to play a maid and all that to uh, get ahead in the game. But, you know, just her personal drama uh, combined with that. And, you know, here's a woman who really didn't have to die when she died. You know, she just didn't get the right kind of medical care. Uh, so those two, right off the top of my head. And then, you know, there's some folks who are still around, like Ruby D, who's always fun to talk to. And, um, you know, uh, Rosalind Cash was another person I used to love to talk to uh, back in the day. So, yeah, the sisters have it going on, for real. I, I, I love talking to all of them. Journey Smollett, you know, the new kids. Um, Gabrielle Union, it's always cool to talk to. Hallie, you know, Nikki Parker, all those kids.
Wow. Um, well, I have interviewed Brenda Russell, who I find infinitely fascinating. Um, but someone I haven't done would probably be who's still alive. Um, wow. I, Prince. I know that's what everybody would probably say, but yeah, Prince. Yeah, the purple one. You know, because we go back to sophomore year, you know, in college. So uh, I remember when he first hit the scene and we were like, who is this short little brother, you know, kicking it like this, you know. So, uh, yeah. He Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. It's because this is going to be my blog post today behind the lens. See, so you always ahead of the game. I'm just trying to <laughs> you know? do something different because yeah. I'm in the newspaper and I don't see stories that I even want to read. Yeah, there you go. So I'm trying to bring something positive every day. There you go. And we got to give a shout out to you because, you know, you teach me so much. Thank and, you. Um, you know, I'm just awed by your talent. Yeah. You know? You know? Hey. Whoever it is, it's be thankful, be grateful, because it's working for you. All right. <laughs>